Hey guys, it's Grim. Today I want to talk uh, a bit about package entering Synology. Um, so there's a lot of, of extra packages that you can install on the Synology uh, service itself. Um, um, so there's a lot of standard applications that can be installed um, normally when you just uh, unpack everything and just install the uh, Synology server. Uh, but there's also a couple of extra uh, like resource centers that you can have um, um, and you can actually fill in um, in order to get more and more applications on the on the Synology. So uh, as you can see um, I've, I've opened Packet Center so you can start it um, by choosing the Packet Center itself. I'm going back so I've already started it so you can see a couple of the things that I have running over here. Um, so you can see all the categories on the left side and all the categories just represent all the app packages are categorized um, and getting in there. So that not really fancy. So if I click all then I can see all the applications that, that I can install actually. So you can see that there's a couple of them um, that I can actually uh, start using. So there's a couple of third party applications. Um, there's a couple of standard applications so that you can see over here that this is Synology. So the top left side, uh, it's uh, Synology applications. And if you go down a bit, you can see third party applications. Uh, and that's where the fun all starts because you can actually uh, run a lot of, of, of actual applications. Uh, and it's, it's a little bit depending on the type of Synology NAS that you have. Um, some are able to run Docker um, and others not. Uh, so it really depends on the uh, processor capacity that you have. So if you can't run things, um, run applications, or they do not show over here, then it could very well be that you don't have the uh, correct version of Synology. Uh, having that said, um, I'm just going to show you how to get all these extra third-party applications. So basically, we're gonna we're gonna go to the top and we're gonna click the settings button. Um, so it actually starts loading all the extra settings that, that you can use in the in the application center or the package center itself. Um, so you can see that my default volume, where I install or where Synology installed the package, is in volume two. Um, the trust level for all the application packages is any publisher. Um, that's basically what I've said. I don't need any notification, so I switch that off. Um, there's a tab called beta. So uh, do you would like to see the beta versions before the official release date? Yes, I do. So I've just ticked that on. Then we've got the auto update feature. Uh, so you can actually choose which packages should be automatically updated. Um, and you can just choose whatever you like over here. I've chose a couple, so not important. So the actual point where the uh, you can click the tab packet sources that you can actually run extra additional sources of packages. This is where the actual third party packages come from. So I can add uh, a name and location. Uh, in this case, I've added uh, one called the uh, mdefreeze.org spk repo packages and superzebulon.org. Uh, packages repo and the standard Gina community which is quite known uh, I've added that one as well so basically just type in a name that you would like to give it to and type the location now the location is is again you can get that off the internet so if you find any uh, location for a packet source then the majority of the times the URL is actually located there with it copy it, paste it, and just click OK. Then you can actually start using all the application packages. Um, just to make sure and make you aware that if you fill in these extra packet sources, it could take a couple of minutes before all the applications are shown in your application field. So in the first um, all button, the all uh, uh, tab. Then certificate, I didn't do anything with that. That's a little bit standard for the things that you load. So I don't do anything with it. Go back to general, click okay. 
and you will see all the available packages that will show up. So again, it could take a while for these third party packages to show up, but they eventually will show up if you just put in the wrong or the correct URL. If you put in the wrong URL, then obviously you won't see anything. Um, so this is actually the part that I wanted to show you today. So uh, next time I'm going to show you a little bit more again. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, if you like my videos, click the thumbs up down below um, and follow my channel. Thanks, guys. Cheerio.